Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greedy comics, twins are hella sick. Hell whacking it. Take a bad hit. Take a bad hit. What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Red Optimus Maximus. Yeah, I just made that up, but these are actually the latest wave of Transformers Combiner Wars figures that we have over here. Sunstrick and Mirage, Prowl, and Ironhide. Uh, I have the Optimus Prime over here that came from Wave 1. I'm dodging the Battlecore white version of Optimus Prime. Going with this one, big thanks to Brian and Amanda for making that possible. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I think this is going to be a cooler look overall anyway. All these other ones have their original colors, so hey, keep the original colors with Optimus Prime, then create them into a combiner, right? So anyway, if you're trying to pick these up, you can't get them everywhere. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So as you can see from here, we get a collector card right there with Optimus Prime, and then the rest of these come with their own comic book. And then there's read up on the back of the packaging. Here's the back of the packaging to all the figures. If you want to read the bio on Sunstreaker, pause it now. Mirage, pause it now. Optimus Prime, pause it now. Prowl, pause it now. Ironhide, pause it now. All right, let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the figures out of the packaging, looking all right. This is a pretty fun set to have. I will not call this an essential set. There's also going to be a Takara version of this coming out. I think it's Convoy Prime is what it's called. And I noticed the colors on especially Sunstreaker and Mirage were a bit darker. It looked a little bit cooler. And I like over there that they had the same configuration that I prefer, uh, which we'll talk about later on. So I'm not really going to get into the transformation or the articulation on these. We're just going to look at the aesthetics. These are all mostly repaints. Of course we get new head sculpts and there's other newly molded parts, but for the most part uh, this guy's breakdown, redone, and then off-road, redone, and then dead end, and then drag strip, and then of course uh, Menasaur, even though technically Prime did come out first. First off here is looking at Sunstreaker. With him I like that it's very easy to store this foot uh, or whatever you choose it to be right here on his back, so that's pretty nice. Very vibrant yellow. And it's not too shabby. I really like how the head sculpt came out though. The eyes look pretty good and he has this other weapon right here with this nice silver paint. So I think that looks really nice. And I think that they added a decent amount of paint on this so it's not a bland yellow piece, you know? And they get some nice sculpted detail throughout on this. So I like the combination of black here that we get on this guy. He has some red on, for the alt mode which we'll show off in a minute. And looking at Ironhide right there, he looks pretty good. A bit off model to how I'm used to seeing Ironhide. You know, it's not the classic Ironhide I'm used to. But again, I like how they mix the colors up so that it doesn't look like a big old red piece of plastic, you know? Especially having the silver right over here. And he has this axe weapon. Then there's his other foot slash hand, whatever you want it to be. And then looking at Prime over here, which at first I thought was kind of a funny looking Prime with the small head. But now I see just a really yoked out Prime. And he just looks really beastly. So I actually really like this one a lot more than I thought I would. I like this metallic bluish silver paint that we get right there for the chest. And then right here he has two guns and these combine into the large gun that we'll see later. I like how this one has a similar design to the original gun. Gun, you know, <clears throat> hot toys, what the hell? And then right here we get some nice silver, and this is all new. I like that they give us new stuff, but the legs I think are exactly the same as Menasaur. Got the tires right there on the side. So yeah, it's looking at Prime. And then here's Prowl, very good looking Prowl figure. I actually like this one a lot. This is probably my second or third favorite one out of all of these. So I dig this one. Again, there's the handgun. Then here you actually have an actual gun that's all white, so that looks pretty good. Smart choice color right there. You have some deco. We'll take a little bit more of the deco when we get them transformed. But again, I like this metallic tealish silver color that we get right there. And it's not really silver, it's just a metallic teal. So I like that a lot. So yeah, pretty good looking figure. I like this prowl. Then he's looking at a very disgruntled Mirage, which I think is a little out of character. I don't remember seeing Mirage get very angry. But yeah, kind of a funny looking head sculpt. I guess it looks pretty good. Unfortunately, you can't plug his gun right here into his shoulder. There's like some gappage over here where I thought this could probably plug in, but no, it doesn't really work like that at all, but he does have the port right over here up top, so just plug it right there. Now it's a little bit more G1-esque, not really, just kind of, I know I'm lying to myself, uh, 62, I think it's 26, so they had to change that for whatever reason. 
So yeah, not a bad looking Mirage, you know, if you missed out on the original Classics one, I wouldn't be surprised if you'd jump all over this, because I would if I didn't already have the original one, which I still like more. And just a little fun fact, this is actually the very first figure I bought from anybody through my YouTube channel. I think it was Antoine C who I bought this from back in 2009 at San Diego Comic Con, so that was a long time ago. But anyway, yeah, you can see the size difference between these two guys right over here. And then here's our new Prowl figure next to the original Classics Prowl, and I noticed this has a little bit of a creamier color to it. I think this Vibrant white works a little bit more for the character, but of course this guy has the shoulder cans. I wish this guy had those. Then here's comparing the two iron hides, and of course the original classics iron hide, thanks to Jerry Nightmare, it just looks a lot better to me. I mean, you have his signature big old chest right there with the windshield, and plus this guy has a little bit more of the orangish red color than this one has a very deep red. And then here's our new Optimus Prime compared to the re-released classics Optimus Prime, thanks Alfonso. And I do like the scale of this one a little bit more. It is a bit larger, but overall I like how this one looks, though I might like the alt mode in this guy a little bit more than this one. So not bad robot modes on these guys. I gotta say the Ironhide one is my least favorite though for sure. I do like the Prime and Sunstreaker a lot and also the Prowl. But yeah, anyway, let's see the alt modes where you take us away, Bumblebee. And here's all five figures in their alt modes. Oh, look at the tiny Ironhide. He's so small. That Ironhide has got to go, man. That is just sticks out like a sore thumb. Can't have a tiny Ironhide. The Sunstreaker, on the other hand, I love this one. This is a really, really good one. I love that you could add, add the hand... I love that you could add the hand part right over here. That's just too awesome. I think Prowl came out pretty sweet, and I really like this Prime too. So let's go through each of these. Looking a little bit closer right here at Sunstreaker, I just think this came out really, really cool. I love the way they added this piece right over here. It tabs on with this little tab on the thumb. You get these two tiny little tabs right over here that just plug in there, and it stays very securely. I think that's pretty dope. Nice metallic blue right there from the windshields. We get some silver right over there. Very bright yellow, which I don't think is inappropriate for this, you know, even though I think I may like that darker yellow that we saw in the Takara version, I'm not sure. Nice silver right over here. So yeah, pretty good looking figure. Um, as far as adding the weapons to these modes, you know, you can do that. I don't personally really like to. And for this one, actually, I don't really know where you can add this thing. I don't really think you can. Oh, right in the gulo. Yeah, there he goes, okay. And then here's Ironhide with his signature red stripe coming across right there. Nice Autobot logo right there at the top, you know, again, I like the blue right there, so it's pretty good, you know, not, bleh. it's just for Ironhide, I just think this isn't really good, you know what I mean, I guess it's like an homage to his movie version, but still, it's all tiny and everything, you can't have a small Ironhide, and then you could plug stuff in right here onto the back if you want to, uh, like that, nope, uh, like that, there you go, so now you can get him driving around, and he does roll pretty well, so I will give him that, you know, so that's pretty cool. And so does Sunstreaker. You didn't show the rolling of Sunstreaker. And here's a looking at Optimus Prime. I like this one. This is a pretty cool Optimus Prime. Very G1 esque, you know. You get that flat front you get you get that flat front in section right you get that flat front section right here, you know? Sculpt it out pretty nicely. Could have used a little bit of silver right there in the rims, but still pretty nice looking prime, you know. And he rolls pretty nicely too, so that's really good. Look how the grill came out on this. Some nice gold paint right there for the headlights. Let's smoosh that a little bit closer. Yeah, so not a bad looking thing. It looks kind of funny though. You get the red right. It does look a little bit kind of. It does look a little funny. Kind of looks. Kind of looks like the front of it's also in the back right over here, but I think that's just from transformation. It looks like there's a possibility of porting in a trailer, but nah. And then here's Prowl, which I really dig a lot. I just really love this dead end mold. It's just very sleek looking. Kind of weird right here with this etched detail for the headlights. That's a bit strange looking, but you do have the emergency lights, which look great. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, you get the shield just once over here, so the deco isn't really spot on, but you know, it's close enough. I think it looks pretty good. I really like this one, and he rolls nicely as well. And lastly, we have Mirage. Looking okay, you know, I like this Mirage figure. It's all right, can't be too crazy about it, but looks pretty good. Uh, you get the 62 instead of 26. And then same thing right over there in the front, so you know, it's just a repainted drag strip for the most part, but I like it, it looks pretty good. And I'm not happy with his rolling actually, out of all of them. His rolling is kind of like, oh, these front wheels aren't really hitting the ground properly, so yeah, his rollability isn't as good. Now if you're wondering why I don't have the Legends Class Rodimus, it's because I don't want the Legends Class Rodimus. I'd seen it on the shelf and I will pass on that. I'm not a fan of Rodimus Prime, so yeah, for those of you who don't know me too well, I hate Rodimus Prime. There's a fan group page dedicated to hating Rodimus Prime. 
Prime, I would totally be a part of it. So anyway, uh, before we get this guy transformed into the combiner mode, I just want to mention that I have strategically decided which configuration I'm going with, just based on the characters, okay? So he's supposed to be a really fast guy, he's a very fast guy, so these guys are going to be the legs. Ironhide's the right-hand man to Optimus Prime, so he will be the right arm, and then Prowl's like his other right-hand man, or his left-hand man, so he will be the left arm over there. Alright, let's get to the transformation, will you take us away, Bumblebee? And here's our Red Optimus Maximus, or Omega Prime, or uh, Convoy Prime, whatever you want to call this. Uh, it's pretty cool looking, it's kind of a fun toy to have. The, the fact is, is that you don't get any ankle pivot right here at the bottom, and that really uppercuts the fun factor out through the roof, man, because it's just hard getting him to stand. Now this configuration has another problem where Mirage actually makes this left leg stand a little bit longer than this right leg over here with Sunstreaker, so that's a little bit of a problem, so changing it around around getting more of the Menasaur build, actually switching it so that probably we get off-road over here will make him stand probably a little bit better. But still, you know, he should have ankle pivot. I think there's some third parties uh, doing some ankle pivot stuff or some new feet and arms and hands, I mean. I think there's some third parties doing some new feet and some new hands for these figures. But anyway, looking at the weapon over here, you can see the Optimus Prime gun does combine, which looks pretty cool, you know? I don't know, you don't have to add the Sunstreaker piece to it. I think it just looks a little too narrow over there, so adding this kind of bulks it up a little bit. I wish you could attach a little bit more of the guns that came with the other figures. And again, I really like how they did this right here. This has a nice gunmetal look to it. So just looking at the Combiner Optimus head sculpt, which looks really cool. It looks like a souped up Optimus Prime. I kind of wish these were blue though, these little antennae over here on the side are gray, so blue would have been cooler, but I like the silver paint that we get over here for the mouth guard, and the blue eyes look pretty good, and the crest looks alright. It does have the same thing with Menasaur, where it kind of lifts right here, I don't like that little gap at the neck. Then here's the space where <coughs> Rodimus is supposed to go, but yeah, don't care to have that, and please, nobody send me one. If you do, I'm just throwing it in the trash, alright, so yeah, don't even think about it. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like such a jerk saying that, like, don't send it to me, I'm throwing it in the garbage. But really, I avoided watching the 1986 Optimus, or uh, I actually avoided watching the 1986 movie when I was a kid because I heard that Optimus Prime died, and I just didn't want to see the movie. And I figured if, uh, if and I figured if I never watched the movie, Optimus Prime never died. But when I went to watching the cartoons, you know. Prime wasn't there, so eventually I watched it. But anyway, uh, coming over here, very stubborn kid, right? But yeah, looking at Ironhide, he looks pretty good as a good right arm. I think he looks nice and beefy, and you can transform this any way you want to, but I like having it like that, so I think that looks pretty awesome. I like that. Then same thing with Prowl over here, which gets, does get a little tricky, because the way I want to transform him is so he's like this, but I hate seeing the head, so maybe lifting this up over here could hide that better. But unfortunately, the same problem with the Menasaur figure, the design for this whole section over here is just drowning in weak sauce. I just don't like what they did with it. Just way too high. He has like, just way too wide. He has this cowboy, he has this horseback riding stance right here. He has those horseback riding thighs, you know what I mean? He's got that John Wayne thing going, you know? So I, I just don't like that and it really inhibits a lot of articulation that they could have had there. But looking at these two speedsters right here for the legs, I think they look pretty good. Only problem is Mirage is just a little too big. So yeah, but for the most, and these feet just look so tiny. <laughs> Now another downside with this guy, he is a little bit flimsy, so going over the articulation I expect some pieces to come apart. Anyway, he can look up very far at the head, which is great, and then these antennae can move left and right. Actually, you could, if you wanted to, you could put those all the way back if you didn't like them. Mm, I don't know if I like that so much though. Anyway, he can look down very far, and he does not have side to side movement at all, but he does have neck pivot. You can get this shoulder moving outward only that much, that's as far as I can get that to go. Well, no wait, if I pull his head back, there we go, get more movement that way, and then you can get this moving forward but then it detaches over here which is very annoying you only have that one little tab so you kind of have to or you do have to pinch this and then move that forward you could bend him uh, twice at the elbow so that bends all the way in and you can rotate right there and you get rotation and there it goes it came apart on me but you can get rotation at the wrist and then you get the fingers that can clamp in and the thumb that can move up and down and move inward too on this side so let's pinch that and you can move that forward and get that moving all the way outward and then you get the same articulate up oh, see this 
this came apart right over there. Uh, I can't really get this bending in as much as the prowl, so it's less than 90 degrees right there for the iron. Oh wait, no, bend it, yeah, no, still about 90 degrees over there. And then the same hand articulation, and you do get the swivel, and this just doesn't stay together as much as I'd like it to. Then you, you have to lift this piece right over here, and you can get a waist swivel on prime, and then you can get the legs to move outward like that, I guess? I don't know, this is, this is just so weird, and you can get them kicking forward very, very far, move very far back. Uh, no rotation up until the knee, so you can rotate the knees, then you can bend at 90 degrees and you can get rotation at the ankles. Same thing on this side, you can bend them 90 degrees right over there. But yeah, so that's very, very strange. Now I'm trying to do that thing with Menasaur where I kind of took these legs apart and brought them in a little bit closer, but it makes his long legs look even longer. And you could say it looks a little bit better like this. You could say it looks much worse. I don't know. You could just do whatever you want to your own figure, but I don't know. I like tweaking things around. I don't know. I may have to suck it up and switch Mirage out with Prowl over there. That lean. Uh. So getting the legs configured again how they were in the directions, this guy's measuring at about 12 inches tall. So for a size comparison, here we have Omega Prime next to the Leader Class Armada Mega. Megatron. I like the size difference between these two. I think it would be a pretty cool fight to see, even though I know this would win. Then we have our Combiner Prime over here next to the Menasaur from Combiner Wars. And yes, I have my Wild Rider figure right over there. It's looking so much better to me. And I like having Blackjack over here too, so I'm really liking this a lot more now. Still a funny looking figure. And surprisingly, the Prime version actually stands just a little bit taller. Then here's our Red Optimus Maximus next to Superion, which is actually really one of the best of all these Combiners. Really dig the Superion. Yeah, and I do have the correct characters right over there. And then here's our new combiner next to Devastator, which looks so, so tiny next to Devastator. Still love this figure. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, combined Autobots. Never seen such a thing. Wow, that is pretty awesome. Hey, Ironhide. Ah, oh, 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 oh. So I do like this combiner as a toy. Most of the time I get these transformers as an adult collector. This does not really hit that gratification bug. It, it's actually just more fun to play with. So in that regard, I recommend it. But if you're trying to think of getting the protector bots over these guys, get the protector bots, man. You know what I mean? And I'll eventually be picking that up. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shart in your face. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys' help is much appreciated. Also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to shortemisprime.net for a full catalog of my reviews and photos. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.